Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Uh, in my previous video series I used the simple folding cell widget to create this cool looking calendar app where it has a list of schedules and uh, when I click on any of the schedule the cell flips and you can see the details. So in my use case I have just the details of the meeting and the people who are attending the meeting with a set reminder button. So. Uh, so my last video was to create the bone structure of the cell simple cell folding uh, widget and today we're gonna add the content into it as I mentioned um, this simple folding cell is being divided into three factors one is the front widget which is the one that's visible here and there's inner top and inner bottom so when you click you have two sections this is the inner top and inner bottom the content of these would be discussed in my next video so today we will start uh, adding the content of the front um, widget well the function related to the front widget is this one so in this case uh, we have two expanded widgets so the first one is this one with the flex value 1 that you, what you see here and the second one is with the flex value 2 so first we will add the content inside the first container so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a row and a column and inside the column I'm going to create two containers so so this is the section that I'm going to add the content so all I do is add another container And inside this container, I'm going to add a row widget. And inside this, I'm going to add a children widget. Um, also, okay, after this, I'm going to add a column so that your text appears one below the other. And inside this again I'm gonna add that array okay now inside this array I'm gonna add two containers so the first container text mentions today and the next one is about the timing so I'm gonna say container so this is one container and I'm gonna duplicate it so that I'm this would be my second container so inside my first container what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text which says today and add some styling to it. So quickly I'm going to add of the styling properties which is nothing but the color and the font size. Okay, and this has to be child okay there you go so I've added the child properties and then I'm gonna add a padding to it so as I mentioned in most of my tutorial there's a way to add the padding what you could do is open the outline figure out which text is this the one whenever you click on the widget the corresponding um, widget gets highlighted here right click and just add padding so this is one way of adding it by using flutter outline so we are done with the first container now next moving on to the second container it's also another text with a different value so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to change the text to 0 a.m. There you go. So this is how you add two containers. So I'm going to do a quick hot restart and show you how it looks. Well, the application has built and now you can see the text appears one below the other, but I wanted it in center. Now how I could do this is uh, if you see there is this row and column. There you have a property called main axis alignment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the main axis alignment 
and I'm going to make it center. And similarly, we have to use the same thing for the the row as well. So I'm going to copy this and use it inside my row. Now, if I do a hot reset, you would see a difference. It would get centered in the block. There you go. So this is how uh, you create the first block. Now moving on to the second block. So the second block basically contains a title, a icon, and then a text next to the icon. So I'm gonna lay the layout first by saying it's gonna be a column. And then, so the structure would look something similar to this. So it's a column. And inside the column, I have a container, which is the title. And inside the container, um, oh, okay, there's another container, which would be like a row, because it's the icon next to the um, text. So there is one container for the icon and uh, one container for the text. So this is a kind of a structure. So it's the column, the container, this is the meeting title. And this container holds another row where one is for the icon, another one is for the text. So inside this, it's just the similar way of text and um, this one is an icon and text. So basically, whenever you design layouts, get your um, structure created first and then you can just add text or icons or tables or images inside it so if you get this correct you can design any layout so since it's just purely text and icon i'm just gonna quickly add the text and show you how the output would be so i've added the text inside the bone structure that i created um just a few seconds back so it's nothing but a column and inside the column there's this container so the first one has a text and the second container is nothing but a row with two containers, one for the icon and I use font awesome icon. Another container is the text which has the location and uh, when you build it, so I'm going to show you how it looks. Yeah, so this is how it looks. So you have the first container covered and the second container covered. And when I click on it, you would not see anything because I'm yet to add the content into it, which would be my next video. So hope you know how to add the front widget. And um, if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And please do watch my next series for this uh, entire calendar page app. Thank you.